Officials in Hawaii are working to house thousands of people left homeless by wildfires that devastated the island of Maui this week. It's the state's worst natural disaster in history, and the rebuilding process could take years. Fox News correspondent Jake Karalexis joins us there live. Jake, what a heartbreaking situation so many people are dealing with right now. Yeah, BC, and some roads are reopening today, allowing people to go back to what's left of their homes. And some survivors say they're in shock at the sight of their close-knit communities now left in ruins. I don't even know how to explain it. Like a, it's, like the, it's like a war zone. Our streets are gone. The whole town is gone. Our life is gone. Hawaii's governor says the death toll is likely to rise as search and rescue operations across Maui evolve into recovery efforts. Hundreds are still unaccounted for. Officials still aren't clear on exactly how the fire started, but once it did, it spread quickly, fueled by dry conditions and strong winds from a nearby hurricane. Emergency alerts were sent out, but limited cell service meant many people didn't get them. No sirens went off, nothing. It was fight or flight. Mm -hmm. with no warning whatsoever. Across the island, donation drives are ramping up, working to get supplies to families in need. Some of the most needed items include food, baby formula, and diapers. It really is an all-hands-on-deck effort to get help here, being so far from the mainland. Alaska Airlines is flying in pallets of supplies. The Red Cross is also on the ground helping out as the island faces a long road to recovery. We need donations. We need, we need people shipping things out here we need we need families fed we need uh, yeah we need so much help and the other big need is housing the governor plans to use hotels for evacuees and is even asking people with extra rooms to help out BC all right Jake thank you so much for that report